This is Professor Elvi Gaikwad's English Literature Wave. I am Professor Elvi Gaikwad. Uh, requests you first to like and share my channel and also subscribe my channel. And today in this lecture, we are talking on the goodwill letter as sample. Means here we are discussing the sample letter regarding the goodwill letter. It means it is the sample letter of the goodwill letter. Uh, uh, the subject is that uh, there is a customer and that customer has stopped uh, the installments of the bank. So the subject in short is stoppage in the installments by the bank means there is the bank and that bank has given the installments as the loan means the installments of the loan to the customer it means that the customer has taken the loan from the bank in the form of the installment and now that customer has become late to fulfill all the installments or to recover all the installments and that's why the bank has stopped the account or the bank has stopped the procedure of the loan system and the bank has sent the letter to that customer and that's why the customer is writing this letter now to the bank because the bank has broken there the credit of the customer and that's why the customer is writing this letter to balance his credit at the bank because after all the credit is very important in the bank if the credit goes uh, to be lost then the bank will take it seriously and permanently the bank will stop the installments of that gentleman and that gentleman will not return those installments and then the bank can recover that loan with the extra interest and that's why the credit of that customer will go to be lost and that's why uh, that customer has taken it very seriously and that's why he has requested the bank to continue his installments because in his installments the stoppage or breakage has come and that's why the customer is requesting the bank uh, for maintaining his goodwill at the bank. So that customer is Sham Mohan Thorat. Remember, this is the customer, and this customer has broken the regularity of the ins installments paying to the bank, and that's why this Sham Mohan Thorat is writing this letter to the bank. So here, this is the uh, address of the uh, customer so see how the address of the customer has been written so this is the name of the customer sham mohan thorat then there is the comma then uh, seventh comma ganpati nagar comma jalgaon full stop so see this is the address of the customer so that customer has given his address here that the bank should know uh, about the customer and that's why the customer has given here his address so while writing this letter uh, we also should give here our address like this and then we should start our letter so our address will be like this means here will be our name then comma then here will be the uh, landmark of our address then comma 
and then here will be the comma because this is the 17th means 17th house and that's why here is the comma so uh, if this will be the situation with us we should also give the comma here and then here we should stop that address and then we should give here the full stop then here we should take the uh, date means the customer has also taken here the date on which he is writing that letter to the bank and that date is 11th October 2020 so uh, we should also write the date here uh, below the address so now here is the uh, name of the branch manager it means that the address of the uh, branch manager so this address shows that the branch manager comma SBI comma Jalgaon so remember the customer also lives in Jalgaon and the uh, bank is also in Jalgaon and how is the method see how the letter should be written we should know the method of the letter because here the method of the letter is very important because if we do not keep the method of writing the letter then we will not get the marks and that's why how should be uh, that letter written uh, means what is the method of writing the letter we should know very well so remember like this means we should uh, write like this or uh, yes yes we should write like this means see i have written like this means uh, i have taken like this and here then i have finished the letter so uh, then i will tell you the here is the address of the branch manager so how the customer has written the address of the manager uh, see uh, he has written the branch manager comma sbi comma jalgao full stop this is the address uh, which has been written by the customer in this way we should write the address then that customer has written here dear sir dear madam so uh, the thing of uh, explaining is that uh, here we should also write dear sir oblique dear madam because that manager uh, can be the madam or can be the sir uh, and that's why we should follow this method so remember when uh, we are writing uh, this letter or when you are writing this letter you should write like this see how i have written or how the customer has written we should uh, write like this so we have come to this point that dear sir madam comma wait your letter on 10th october wait your letter on 10th october means the bank has sent the letter to the customer on 10th october and immediately that customer has taken the action of sending the letter to the bank so the a customer has given here the date 11th October 2020. It means that the customer is very serious about his loan installments. Means he is not late uh, in writing the letter to the bank. And that's why the customer says here, wait your letter on 10th October. I am talking on the stoppage of the loan installments yeah so what is the point here the customer has taken the reference of the letter sent by the bank on uh, the 10th october so the customer says that wait your letter on 10th october i am talking means i am writing i am speaking with you means i am talking on the stoppage stoppage means what the bank has stopped the installments means the bank has uh, uh, stopped or suppose broken the regularity of the installments uh, paid by the customer that's why 
the customer is uh, giving the bank the remembrance about the installments or about the main reason and so he says i am talking on the stoppage of the loan installments i am sorry for my serious mistake so the customer knows very well that it is his serious mistake because he has stopped the installments of the bank that's why this is the serious mistake because you know this is the goodwill letter and the customer has to balance his goodwill at the bank or in the market and that's why the customer has uh, excused here to the bank and he said i am sorry for my serious mistake i am the regular loan payer what is he telling here the customer is telling here the customer is telling here that uh, he is the regular loan payer of the bank it is his guarantee or he is giving the guarantee to the bank that he has given the installments to the uh, to the bank uh, regularly but now there is a problem come to him and that's why uh, the customer has stopped himself uh, the installments or the customer could not pay those installments on the proper time and that's why uh, the stoppage has come from the bank and so he is uh, telling the bank that i am the regular loan payer i will continue now the them means i will i will continue uh, now them means he is telling here that he will continue now the installments because uh, here the customer is rectifying his mistake because he has made their mistake and so he is correcting his mistake here and so he says i will continue now the installments as my mother has recovered from illness so see what what, what is the reason of the customer of not paying the installments on proper time the reason of the customer of not paying the installments on the proper time is that his mother has uh, covered uh, from illness means his mother was ill from the serious disease and that's why uh, a lot of money was spent on the illness of his mother and that's why he had no money and that's why he could not pay those installments on the proper time and that's why he stopped up the installments and so he is giving the exact reason of his not paying the installments on the proper time so he gives the uh, reason or he focuses on the reason that uh, that i will continue now them as my mother has recovered from illness i hope what he says now this is the end of the letter that's why he says i hope you will consider my problem means here this customer has requested finally uh, to the bank that the bank should consider his problems and that's why he tells that uh, the bank should consider him and so his uh, his statement is here uh, is that i hope you will consider my problem and uh, at the end of the letter there is the like this uh, faithfully he was remember all students should remember here that they should also uh, write uh, when they are going to write all the letters now the method of writing the letters is like this uh, in the back days or before some days we were writing the letter in the different type of form but now the form of the letter is like this means we should start from here and we should write like this means in a straight way so remember here at the end of the letter we should write faithfully yours and uh, comma and then we should write our name and that name is 
श्याम मोहन थोरात रिमेंबर दॅट नेम इज श्याम मोहन थोरात सो रिमेंबर हियर टुडे वी हॅव फिनिश द गुडविल लेटर ॲज द सॅम्पल अँड दॅट गुडविल लेटर इज गिव्हन इन दिस मेथड मेथड मीन्स दिस इज द टेक्निक ऑफ रायटिंग द लेटर सी देर शुड बी द नेम ऑफ द कस्टमर देन देर शुड बी द ॲड्रेस ऑफ द पर्सन टू हू वी आर गोईंग टू राईट द लेटर देन वी शूड से डिअर सर डिअर मॅडम वी शूड से देन वी शूड स्टार्ट द लेटर लाईक दिस अँड देन वी शूड एंड द लेटर विथ फॅक्चुअली युअर्स कॉमा अँड देन वी शूड राईट युअर अवर नेम and we should uh, sign here uh, uh, above our name and this is the letter which is the sample of the goodwill letter here today uh, we have seen the sample letter of the goodwill letter we will see the next uh, theme or the next topic in the next lecture here i am professor will be like what is requesting you again to like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you thank you very much